Rebecca, the next time you go to cinemas like Landmark, you might be able to enjoy a beer. Now, that is all only if city leaders do approve an ordinance that would allow that. Now, I spoke with an assistant general manager from Landmark Cinemas today, and he tells me that the addition to serving alcohol at his business could help bring people to the movies, help them enjoy it, but that they need to monitor who is able to drink the alcohol and how much they drink. We have, you know, very strict curfew policies and very strict, like, R-rated policies and whatnot. So to us, you know, we're no stranger to having to put a moderation on things. But when city leaders first discussed allowing alcohol sales in movie theaters, some didn't think they had enough time to read through the proposal. Councilmen Chuck Grabe and Dennis Sear requested to defer the topic. They were met by other council members who said they were being, quote, business unfriendly. I really don't want to be lectured on how we're being business unfriendly. What's business unfriendly is the way this has been brought forward without full information for the policy making body. There's two of these uh, theater in my district, and I've received a lot of phone calls, and all I was asking for is a chance to talk with these gentlemen and to do a little bit more research. Representatives from AMC Feeders were asked about how they handle liquor sales at AMC. They say safety is a priority, but so is making money. We have to pay Hollywood 60 cents on the dollar for every ticket sale we make, regardless of if that's an original purchase or a refund or anything like that. So it's in our best interest to make sure we are responsible in controlling the service of alcohol. All of AMC's servers and staff complete Bassett, which is an online alcohol training program. The company also has extremely strict protocol for employees. One mistake could cost them their jobs. We card everyone at AMC. Uh, if my 95-year-old grandmother comes in and I'm working the bar, I have to card her. If I don't, I am fired. Anderson says AMC has complete control on how much drinks cost and has policies in place on how much moviegoers can consume. He adds they also have secret shoppers who make sure minors don't get served. Now, council did approve that first reading last night, and they need to do two more for this to become law. Now, if you want to head on over to our Facebook page at WMBD, we currently have a poll. Go there, check it out, and uh, raise your voice. Live at Landmark Cinemas, I'm Matt Sheehan. Back to you, Eugene.